Hi guys, Ian Johnson from DriverSuccess.com. Today I want to talk about five simple, low cost, and in some cases zero cost marketing strategies that you can put together as a small business. I've included that in parentheses. But you know, this is something that you can use whether you're a medium sized business and even some large businesses put this together as well. So this is something you can do if you're a manufacturer, a distributor, a value added reseller. And these five simple marketing strategies you can put together right now and get them out and get them working. Okay, so the first one we're going to go over is um, we're going to talk about industry trade publications and magazines. Okay, so industry trade publications and magazines. All right, now every single market has an industry trade publication. Okay, every single market has a, a magazine. Um, that basically summarizes the events in the market, what's happening, and all these other things. These are a great source for you to tap into because what they're looking for in a lot of cases is they're looking for free content. They're looking for somebody with knowledge of the market to produce content in terms of an article or a document. And what you can do is you can actually contact your industry trade publication and you can say, I will write up an article for you about you know, this subject matter, and they will gladly print it for you and put it inside the magazine but you're not going to get paid for it, but you're going to get free advertising. And a lot of times these industry trade publications, they're going to give you a byline, guaranteed you'll get a byline. But in some cases, they put a byline at the beginning and at the end, and they allow you to promote a product or service. It's not going to be a big advertisement, it's going to be a small one. But in this case, you basically appear as the expert in your field. Okay? This is going to go out directly to your customers, it's going to go out to people that are market influencers in the market, and, you know, it's going to allow them to see what you can, in terms of your knowledge, what you can offer as a company. So tap into industry trade publications, contact them, and tell them you want to write an article for them, okay? The second tip is to work with your local chamber of commerce, okay? And what you want to do here is you want to secure a link, okay? You want to secure a link on either their website or their blog back to your business. Now, you obviously, you're going to have to be a member of the Chamber of Commerce in, in your local town or borough. Um, but being a member of your Chamber of Commerce is essential because it allows local customers that are looking for reputable businesses to basically find those businesses through the Chamber of Commerce website. And if you think of yourself as a customer, a lot of times local customers, the first place they're going to go to is the Chamber of Commerce. Okay, So get that link. Um, become a member of your Chamber of Commerce, get that link back to your website, and it's a great, simple tool that you can use in order to market to your local, local customers. Okay? The third thing we're going to talk about is social media. Now, social media is a very, very um, difficult platform to navigate, okay? because there's a lot of companies out there that, regardless of the type of market, or the type of business that they're in, they just automatically open a Facebook page or a MySpace page, and they just go out and they, they basically tap into social media regardless of the platform or the type of business model, and you don't want to do that, okay? So if your business is business to consumer, okay, then yes, do Facebook, okay? It costs nothing to open up a Facebook page on your business, nothing at all, okay? But if you're business to business, Facebook doesn't always suit your business model and the type of customers and the people you're trying to pursue. If you're doing business to business, go after LinkedIn. Okay? LinkedIn is more geared towards the business to, to business professional, procurement professionals, engineers, design engineers, field service technicians. These are the type of, of, of customers you want to target. So if you're going to use social media, it's in a, it costs nothing other than your own time. Make sure you match it to the type of market that you service, okay? The fourth thing you want to look at is what's called SMS marketing, okay? Now, SMS marketing is simply short message service marketing. Now, we, we know it as texting, okay? And we don't want your, your SMS platform to turn into a texting nightmare. So basically, texting is anytime you, get, you have a cell phone or a mobile phone and you get a text, this is essentially what SMS marketing is. But the reason why it's so popular is because it basically has a 90% open rate. Okay? People that have cell phones and mobile phones stay connected to friends, family, coworkers. They, they're mobile and they always want to know what's going on. SMS marketing allows you to deliver a focused message directly 
to those customers most interested in what it has to say. Okay? So SMS marketing is a great tool, but whenever you use SMS marketing, make sure you always have new information to provide. Okay? Don't be redundant. Okay? The fifth one is email marketing. Email marketing, again, like SMS, is ideally suited to customers and it has a very high open rate. Okay? Now, I'm going to summarize the last two here because <clears throat> there's a lot of things that can go wrong with SMS marketing and email marketing. Number one, in order for both of these to work, you must have customer buy-in. Okay, and what I mean by customer buy-in is you have to have customers who want to receive an SMS message, who want to receive email marketing. Your email marketing platform can allow you to advise clients of discounts and inventory uh, uh, liquidations, but in order for both of these platforms to work, you have to have buy-in. They have to agree to receive those messages, otherwise you're not going to get your target audience and they're not going to open them. Okay, so if you just randomly send out SMS marketing texts to, to customers or potential customers that aren't interested in what you have to offer, you're not going to get this 90% open rate. And if you do it with email marketing, they're not going to open it. They're just not going to pay attention to it. If you run an email campaign, make sure you test it. Test it on different servers, test it on different email addresses, Yahoo, Google, these type of things. Okay? So these are five simple low-cost marketing strategies that you can put together right away. Contact your industry trade publication, talk to them, offer up free content, Talk to your chamber of commerce, um, your local chamber of commerce in your town or borough. If you're not a member, get, become a member immediately. Use social media, but use it properly. Business to consumer, Facebook, business to business, things like, like LinkedIn and these type of things. Um, SMS marketing, it's a great tool, has a high open rate. Make sure you always include new information. And in terms of email marketing, it has a high open rate as well. But these last two right here, make sure you have customer buy-in. Okay? Make sure your customers want to receive the message. So that's it, low-cost marketing strategies for small businesses. Ian Johnson, DriveySuccess.com. Bye-bye.